Boxing experts are in shock over Mike Tyson's latest training footage, calling it nothing short of terrifying. In the footage, Tyson's power and speed in the ring are still formidable. Now experts are worried that Tyson's training might spell serious trouble for Jake Paul. They believe that facing a trained Tyson in the ring could be a dangerous scenario for Paul, who has a much shorter career in boxing compared to the legendary Tyson. They suggest that after experiencing the might of Tyson's punches and enduring the inevitable physical toll, Paul might reconsider his path in professional boxing. The thought is that he might find it wiser to return to his roots in YouTube rather than risking further in-ring encounters. Here's something new. Mike Tyson's training regimen has taken an innovative turn with the introduction of the water bag. This new tool is being used to enhance Tyson's punch resistance and teach him the crucial technique of punch pullback and immediate resistance. Unlike traditional heavy bags, the water bag moves and responds in ways that closely mimic a real opponent. The result is a more fluid, reactive fighting style that keeps him on his toes and ready for anything. Even Evander Holyfield, one of Tyson's sworn rivals, admits that after seeing the training footage, memories of facing Tyson's ferocity come rushing back. Holyfield who shared the ring with Tyson in two infamous bouts, recalls the intense pressure and sheer power Tyson brought to their encounters. Witnessing Tyson's training regimen reignites the fear and anticipation I felt stepping into the ring with that ferocious heavyweight. Adding to the awe is Lennox Lewis, who has been vocal about the remarkable nature of Tyson's training footage. Lewis remarked, his speed was unreal for his size. You'd see this mountain of a man moving like a middleweight throwing punches with lightning-fast precision. Mike Tyson's physique was indeed a weapon honed to perfection. His muscular build and explosive power were legendary, striking fear into the hearts of opponents even before the opening bell. The reason for this is that Tyson's training sessions were notoriously brutal, pushing him to his limits and beyond. No one could bring me down. They can shoot me, they can put me in prison, but they can't stop me from being the greatest at what I do. From grueling sparring sessions to intense cardio drills, Tyson spared no effort in preparing himself for battle. His training regimen was a reflection of his commitment to excellence. Every punch thrown and every mile run aimed at achieving peak performance. Experts have been quick to compare Jake Paul's progress in boxing to Mike Tyson's early fights and rigorous training regimen, and the differences are overwhelming. While Jake Paul has made headlines and built a significant following with his high-profile matches and social media presence, boxing analysts point out that his journey in the sport lacks the foundational intensity that characterized Tyson's rise. Tyson, from a young age, was subjected to grueling training routines under the guidance of legendary trainer Kuz D'Amato, who molded him into a disciplined and fearsome competitor. Tyson's early fights were marked by raw power, unparalleled aggression, and a deep-seated hunger to dominate the sport, qualities that are less evident in Paul's career. While Jake Paul has shown improvement and dedication, his experience level and natural boxing instincts are not on the same level with what Tyson exhibited in his prime. Now, this takes us to everyone's point, that Jake Paul's chances of winning against Mike Tyson are overwhelmingly slim. Experts highlight the massive gap in experience between Paul and seasoned pros like Tyson and Evander Holyfield. When you compare Paul to these legends, it's clear he's lacking in both raw skills and adaptability. Tyson, with his years of training and fierce fighting style, is in a different league entirely. Boxing analysts point out that Paul, even with his dedication and recent matches, doesn't have the same level of fundamental skill or the ability to adjust quickly in the ring. In contrast, fighters like Tyson and Holyfield have spent their lives honing these abilities. Paul's journey in boxing is still in its early stages, and facing someone of Tyson's caliber seems like an almost impossible challenge. Are you going into a fight with a busted hand? No, I'm going into a fight with a winning spirit. Jake Paul's opponents are worried about his lack of experience, especially when facing legendary fighters. Big names in boxing like Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., Mike Tyson's coach, and George Foreman have all voiced doubts about Paul's ability to handle the pressure, power, and ferocity that comes with professional boxing. Jake Paul has spirit, 
but professional boxing is a whole different beast. I have serious doubts about Paul's ability to handle that intensity. It takes years of experience and a lot of grit to stand up to someone like Tyson, said Foreman. Chavez Sr. and Foreman don't think Paul is ready for the kind of intensity that seasoned fighters bring to the ring. Mike Tyson's coach also questions if Paul can handle the power and speed of someone like Tyson. Even Floyd Mayweather, while slightly more optimistic, admits that anything can happen in boxing, but acknowledges that the odds are heavily stacked against Paul. At the end, you're going up. Yeah. You're not really going down. Like, no, it's not a roller coaster. Exactly. You agree? But this is what I've learned too from people. The distance from the Rolls Royce and the gutter is just one step. Even if this is the case, they are still worried about Mike Tyson's aggression in boxing, especially given his age. They think it could be risky for him to fight with such intensity now. Boxing legends like Lennox Lewis and Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. have shared their thoughts. Lewis said, Tyson's speed and power are still there, but age might make him more vulnerable to injuries. Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. commented on Mike Tyson's aggression, saying, Tyson's power and ferocity are unmatched. He's a force of nature in the ring, but aggression can also be a weakness. Because everybody needs to know how to do that. Well, it starts off like this. You lose everything. Everybody you loved, everybody you thought you loved, and you start all over again. But this time, I'm starting with experience. Before I had no experience, so everything was like, wow, what, I, what can I say? Um, it was really difficult. And um, I had to learn through that experience to start over. But now it's a whole different subject. I'm experienced now. If a fighter can stay calm, focused, and exploit the openings Tyson's aggression creates, they might find a way to win. Renowned boxing trainer Teddy Atlas and former champion George Foreman also waited. Atlas pointed out, Tyson's ferocity can backfire if not controlled properly, especially against younger, faster opponents. For Foreman, he said that the danger with Tyson's style is that it leaves him open. At his age, that could be costly. The point is that they both agree Tyson needs to be strategic to avoid getting hurt. This may be true, but we still have to give Tyson the appreciation, especially that the footage really shows off his skills, both in attacking and defense. His head movement is on point, making him a hard target to hit, and he's not making jokes with his punches, which means his opponents can't see them coming. It feels like that he's back in his prime, ducking and weaving like nobody's business. Listen, will you please promise me you're gonna kick this guy's ass and shut him up, please? Hey, I will do just that for you. Watching the clip, it's clear that even at his age, Tyson still got those legendary moves that made him a champ in the first place. With the leaked training footage out there for everyone to see, people are rethinking their bets for the upcoming fight. Some might be leaning towards Tyson now, while others could stick with Jake Paul. Either way, the showdown is still on and only one of them will come out on top. So who's your pick? Please drop your thoughts in the comments section below.